The Sea of Galilee Although not a real sea, it has remained named as such due to the staunch traditions, mainly religious which have grown and flourished from around its shores. The first century historian, Flavius Josephus for example, was so impressed by the areas surrounding the Sea of Galilee, he once wrote, quote, One may call this place the ambition of nature. Reporting a thriving fishing industry around the lake, with well over 200 boats regularly working the waters, archaeologists have since discovered only one such fishing vessel, found in 1986. It has been nicknamed the Jesus Boat. According to Christian religion, much of the ministry of Jesus Christ himself actually occurred upon the shores of the Sea of Galilee, and a recent discovery within the waters themselves has continued to perplex specialists within the area astounding all who have been exploring said discovery, and weighs an estimated 60,000 tons according to researchers. An astonishing size, making it much heavier than any of our modern-day warships. Rising nearly 32 feet out of the ancient sea's sediment, it also has a diameter of about 230 feet. Stonehenge, for example, which is an impressive ancient structure in its own right, has an outer stone circle diameter of only half that, First discovered in 2003 using sonar exploration of the southwest portion of the sea, divers have since been down to investigate the presumably ancient structure, writing regarding their finds within the latest issue of International Journal of Nautical Archaeology. Researcher Yitzhak Paz, Antiquities Authority, and Ben Gurion University believes it could date back more than 4,000 years. Quote, the more logical possibility is that it belongs to the 3rd millennium BC, because there are other megalithic phenomena from that time that are found close by, Paz told LiveScience.com in an interview, noting that those sites are associated with fortified settlements. Could it be that this is where the peoples of bet Yura buried and honored their dead? Is this a proverbial city of the dead, or something else entirely? As more research is undertaken, it is only a matter of time before we understand this amazing structure for what it truly once was. We will of course keep you posted. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. A number of people who frequent our work have requested a more detailed video regarding one of the mysteries we so often focus upon here on the channel. There are many sites that we feel are deserving of in-depth focus. Our mission has always been to enlighten those who may not have been aware of the many different, compelling, and often controversial realities surrounding countless ancient ruins that throughout their lives have been explained away with a lie. Undoubtedly, the most well-known, most commonly explored, and thus the ruin most suited for our viewers' acquirement of a knowledge armory is Giza. Indeed, there are many people you will meet throughout your life that will have delved into the mysteries of Egypt. However, this experience, unbeknownst to them, may have been fraught with a limited, illogical, academic account regarding the history of Giza's plateau. This video, then, is our gift to our viewer. To prove to all those who act like they know it all how little they actually do. The characteristics of the casing stones are undoubtedly one of our own most noted achievements. We feel little, if any, notice has been given to the facts we have realized regarding these stones, yet the evidence we have found will remain clear for all to see. These casing stones, although of an enormous size and as such were left by a lost civilization, are far younger than the sandstone in which they encase. Most of these casing stones, unfortunately robbed out during invasions within the last few centuries, are protecting stones which are actually far more eroded and thus far older beneath. However, additionally, we began to wonder just how old could the Great Pyramids be? Could these eroding sandstones actually be concealing a far larger, far older structure beneath? Also discovered here on our channel the supporting evidence to this hypothesis, most notably along the east side of Khufu and in numerous other places where the smaller sandstones have been robbed out, is, as we suspected, a far larger exoskeleton. We strongly believe these enormous megalithic blocks that we have previously estimated to be many hundreds of tons in weight are actually the original oldest blocks of the pyramids. 
we also believe that the more modern, currently recognized casing stones were actually inspired by these more heavily eroded smaller sandstone blocks, now concealing these mammoth megaliths. This makes the layers we believe that adorn the Great Pyramid numbers three, with the two more modern layers being conservation efforts, undoubtedly undertaken at vastly different times within history. Just how old is the Great Pyramid? Just how impressive was ancient Egypt? For example, the oldest surviving obelisk at Heliopolis, and therefore in Egypt, was undeniably cut, transported, and lifted into position at an unknown time in history, using now lost technology and knowledge. It is a stone 20 meters in height, weighing an astonishing 121 tons. And this enormous, unexplainable, impossible monolith is not the only one left upon the plateau. There are many more dotted all over Giza. For example, the sarcophagus of Amenemet III, a pair of quartzite monoliths, discovered in the early 20th century, hang above this supposed tomb. These gigantic stones effortlessly support the weight above, each estimated to weigh 110 metric tons. The Colossi of Memnon, these two gigantic artworks were built from single pieces of stone. They are orientated toward the sunrise at winter solstice, estimated to weigh anywhere from 600 to 1,000 tons each. Modern technology allows for the movement of such weights. However, any civilization claimed by academia, actually once being responsible for the transportation of such stones, is absurd. Who could have possibly transported such enormous stones to these locations? Not only transported them, but worked them into masterpieces they once were, disposing of all waste, presumably also weighing many tons. And there are many others. In the temple east of Khafre's Pyramid, for example, there lay blocks regularly, yet quietly estimated to weigh over 400 tons. How can modern academia claim such tasks were undertaken by our modern ancestors. Anyone aware of the true accomplishments involved in the construction of the Giza Plateau must now see this hypothesis as severely lacking any satisfactory explanations. Mortuary Temple of Menkaura still possesses some astonishing unexplained feats. There are some estimates of the blocks within the temple, most notably within the surviving walls of the mortuary, weighing as much as 220 tons. The heaviest granite ashlars, imported from Aswan Quarry many miles away, weighing in at more than 30 tons. There are many incredible, inexplicable features upon the Giza Plateau. Many of them, unfortunately, yet predictably, little shared academically. Yet it remains a place of invaluable existent truths, many discrediting that which are passed off as current academic fact. Giza is an astonishing place, and the one we feel most likely to expose academia once and for all. It is a plateau we find highly compelling. Undoubtedly, one of the most spectacular and beautiful planets of our solar system, Saturn. Although other planets, such as Jupiter, also own a ring, they are too faint to see without powerful orbital telescopes. An earthly, physics-defying polar storm, spotted by Voyager in 1981, had winds swirling in a hexagonal shape. This most peculiar of storms was confirmed by the infamous flyby by Cassini in 2006. However, Saturn's rings are not just made up of mountainous-sized blocks of perfectly pure ice. Intriguingly, there does indeed exist claims by ex-NASA employees of objects of extraterrestrial origins and or interest locked within the orbit of this gigantic planetary orbital ring with some going further with, which what others claim are tin pot theories that said objects are, in fact, sending our planet peculiar radio signals. We find Saturn, and indeed the secrets it may be hiding, especially within its spectacular ring, highly compelling. Uh, I really couldn't 
couldn't imagine because I have been the team's biggest skeptic. I was kind of prepared of finding just a stone. For me, it has been an amazing experience, I must say. The team were completely dwarfed by the mysterious object, which is about 60 meters in diameter and lying almost 80 meters down on the bottom of the Baltic Sea. There are visible formations on top of the object, which are set at a 90 degree angle and look like passageways or walls, as well as something that looks like it could be a staircase. The Baltic Sea anomaly is an anomaly in the best sense of the term. It is a 70 meter long object, with numerous sharp edges and right angles prevalent throughout its structure, with a set of stairs on one side, as if deployed from its shape and left to ruin. Sonar has also found drag marks behind the object, samples have confirmed it is made of metal, geologist Steve Weiner said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, suggesting that the structure was in fact made from metals which nature could not reproduce itself. Electrical equipment also has mysterious issues when near to the anomaly. Professional diver. Stefan Hadjaborn, part of the Ocean X team said, anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we were above the object, then when we got away about 200 meters, it turned on again. Lindbergh isn't convinced that the object is actually an ET spacecraft. In response to one question about what the object might be, Lindbergh responded, I think it is very odd in its shape. It is tough to give an explanation as to what it might be exactly, since different scientists have many different theories. Whatever it is, it is something we do not usually find in nature. Sitting in the dark cold depths of the Baltic Sea, it is thought to be over 140,000 years old. Ocean X is currently investigating the object, I will keep you updated.